Leo. All persons born from July 22 to August 21, inclusive, were born under the sign of Leo. Leo, the lion, is the middle of the fire triplicity. You are naturally of a jovial, sympathetic, free and friendly disposition. To the extent that you are kind-hearted, generous and sympathetic to that extent you are magnetic and hypnotic. Magnetic and hypnotic powers will give you force to accomplish much good, and will draw to you wealth, health and happiness. You must bend every energy to be magnetic and charming, because these qualities are yours by birth. By paying the strictest attention to what I advise in this delineation you can swing through this world as a lovable and powerful being, and can avoid all trouble and friction. Put forth of your love freely to all mankind and have only high aims, ever striving to be pure and high thinking. There is nothing that can harm you or retard your progress and growth if you will only hold steadfast to high principles. Learn that silence is great power. That cheerfulness, contentment and patience will bring you much prosperity, much health and much happiness. Never shirk a duty, and work with a high motive, and you will become invincible and can overcome with your mind and will every obstacle in your pathway. Education, culture and refinement can do great things for you. Always remember you were born under very fortunate planetary conditions. That many of the greatest people in the world are Leo people. You have the strength and courage of a lion, and if you are not successful or happy, it is due entirely to your neglect of cultivating and bringing out your wonderful powers. These powers and forces which make for success are always latent in every Leo person, and can only be developed by intelligent exercise of mind and the will. And that reminds me your willpower is naturally very strong. But you can add greatly to its strength by continually and persistently holding in your mind high and strong thoughts. Any line of thinking which causes you to be morbid or blue is weakening to your willpower, and all worry and apprehension about your success will drive good things away from you. In business, love and money matters you must feel that you will be successful. That there is no possible chance for you to fail. And when you can get into that state of mind your success is as certain and sure as two and two are four. Those of the Leo son who reach the highest attainments are always of a philosophical turn of mind. They fully realize that it is of the utmost importance for them to take the ups and downs of life without a single murmur or complaint. Learn to take the bitter with the sweet, rain with the sunshine, sorrow with joy, and never whine or grumble at seeming fate or luck. In other words, be grateful and thankful for the many good things in the world. By doing this you strengthen your willpower and will easily batter down all obstacles in your way to success and happiness. In love affairs, by being mild, gentle and kind to the being loved, you will in return not only win all of that person's love, but will also command their highest respect and admiration. All you people should seek an early marriage. If you are married, your chief aim or object should be to make your home bright and happy by flooding it with all the kindness and love you can command. In every move you make be absolutely fearless and courageous, always keeping in mind that the highest rewards are only earned by indomitable will, great courage and an entire absence of doubt and fear. The cultivated and educated Leo persons possess clairvoyant and intuitive powers which enable them to foretell and prophesy things that will happen in the future. Many great prophets, seers, Sages and wise men and women come out of the sign of Leo. Listening to music, reading good books and magazines and observing and studying successful men and women is of untold advantage to you. You can learn anything that you will apply your mind to, and ought to be handy in mechanical matters. Your possibilities are so great when you correct and remedy your faults that I have taken special pains in this delineation to caution you against faults which will retard your progress and make you unhappy. In no way ever give way to an inclination to be tricky. Always stick to strict truth and don't borrow money, books or anything. Be independent and self-reliant, and you will become a giant of strength and power. If you yield to laziness, indolence, impatience, anger, worry and anxiety you will bring on yourself misery and suffering. Always control your passion for the opposite sex. By not doing this many only a person has brought on great misery and trouble. Always have high ideals and try to live a pure and high life. Let your higher nature have full sway. Whenever you are troubled or anxious, I would advise you to go off in a quiet spot and all alone try to calm yourself by thinking of the bright side of life. 
If you can believe in prayer to the good God, offer up to Him a silent prayer for calm, peace, help and love, and your prayer will be answered. The power of an earnest, sincere prayer for relief is wonderful. By prayer, the yogis often perform wonderful things, which, to the ignorant and unbelieving, seem like great miracles. As a matter of fact, we say that every force and power in the universe is natural, and can be controlled and directed in natural ways for good. We know there is nothing supernatural in the universe. The great sun of this solar system governs your sign, and you can attract all of the wonderful solar fluids and currents to your aid by living the higher life. I have suggested here just what you ought to do to have perfect health, amass wealth and happiness, and if you heed my teachings you cannot fail. This sign is governed by the sun. The gems are ruby and diamond. The astral colors are red and green. The diseases which you are most likely to suffer from are weak lungs, heart troubles, fevers, back and kidney troubles and despondency. Your best companions are those born in Sagittarius, Libra and Aries. People born in this sign are usually wiry, but not over tall, well proportioned, round head, light or ruddy complexion and have a strong, deep voice and large eyes. Cusps. If your first breath was drawn when one sign was taking the place of another, you will partake of the characteristics of both signs. Hence you belong to the cusp. The residence in a sign consists of six days, any time less endows one with some of the qualities of the preceding sign. The Cusp of Cancer Leo. July 22nd to 28. In these six days are found the elements of fire and water. The most daring and confident, the most unscrupulous politicians were born during this period. The natural Leo laziness is much modified by the cancer restlessness, which keeps them looking for strange sensations and new enjoyments. They are secretive or frank, whichever best suits their purpose. The men require the utmost probity of their wives, but do not care to be called to book in return. The women of this sign are intense, and if treated harshly or indifferently will conceive a disgust for their marital companion. As mothers, they are self-denying and affectionate, and as housekeepers they are orderly. In fact, they are liable to be too orderly for their own comfort and those around them. The people born in this cusp are gifted with phenomenal memory. There are no heights that these people cannot attain if they so determine. They can always be depended upon to stand by a friend through every description of trouble. When well reared and educated these natives have beautiful characters, freely giving to the suffering both from their pocket and their heart.